Hey, it's Christina from Arsenal Handicraft, and today I'm gonna to walk you through a screen print that we made on glitter paper. You're gonna see us make two different editions of this print. The main edition of about 30 prints uses white ink, and then we made a special, really limited edition of only about 10 prints using silver ink. Those went to our patrons. This video isn't sponsored, but Legion Paper did provide the glitter paper that we used. They reached out to us at the beginning of the year and let us pick from a huge amount of all their special effects papers and as soon as we saw this black glitter paper, we imagined a space scene just immediately. In case you're wondering, this is Miri Sparkle paper in the color Black Diamond. They also provided us another color called Twilight. Um, so if you want to see what we end up making with that batch of paper, make sure to subscribe to our channel. A huge inspiration for this print was old photos of astronauts at the peak of the space race in the 60s, specifically astronauts from the Gemini 4 space mission. We gathered a bunch of source images from NASA's website. They actually allow you to use their photos copyright free, which is great because we don't know any astronauts we can shoot reference photos of. Our initial sketches had a spaceship and light coming out of that spaceship that was shining on the astronauts. We ended up scrapping that idea and instead changing the perspective so that it looked like the person viewing the print was inside of the spaceship looking out of it. After looking for reference images and doing thumbnail sketches, we were ready to hop into a first draft of the actual illustration. This is being drawn in an iPad Pro in Procreate. We've got one of our initial thumbnail sketches as the first layer, and followed by a couple of the astronaut images that we got from NASA layered over top of that, just to kind of give us a starting point for the illustration. One of the things in the reference images that we were really drawn to were the tethers that the astronauts were wearing. Those tethers were allowing them to float freely in space, but at the same time, they just seemed very cumbersome. They seemed very thick, kind of old technology and just very difficult to deal with. A lot of times we really struggle to come up with names for our prints, but in this case, tethered was something that we had talked about all the way back from our sketching phase. After this illustration is finished, it has to be separated out into single individual colors for screen printing. I'm not going to show that in this particular video, but if color separations for screen printing is something that you'd be interested in seeing a video on, let us know down in the comments. What we're keeping in mind as we're illustrating is identifying our values. So which ink color is going to be used for our lightest value? which ink color will be used for our darkest, and then how many midtones or colors in between are we going to need to achieve a realistic print. In the case of this print, we knew that we couldn't use the black of the paper for our darkest value because having glitter in the shadows just wasn't going to look right. So we knew we would need a dark black ink for one color. Secondly, we knew for our lightest color, we were going to use white for our regular edition and then a silver metallic so that we could make a variant a little bit more special for our patrons. And then for our midtones, we kept it simple with this print. We just went with one, the blue teal color that hopefully mimics Earth as seen from space. My husband Dennis and I screen print down in the studio that we built out in our basement. So the next part of this video, it takes place down there. Our dog Winnie usually hangs out down there with us and does not help at all and I just realized that I don't think I got any footage of her while we were printing this, which is a huge mistake on my part. The first layer going down is going to be white. We don't have to mix any ink here, we're just using Speedball acrylic white ink straight out of the jar. This stuff goes down pretty opaque and it's going to provide a really nice solid first layer for the rest of this print. So each print is made one at a time. We have to pull the squeegee for every single color on every single print. So for this first layer, we will be pulling the squeegee 30 times, one for each print to get the white ink down for this edition. Did you think I was gonna make you sit through all 30 pulls of the squeegee? Nope, don't worry, not gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna move on to uh, the next step, which is the 
silver variant for this print. So we just wiped the white ink off of the screen. It's really nice about using water-based ink. You can just clean it up with a little bit of water and paper towel. As I mentioned, we only made a really small number of the silver variant for our highest tier patrons. If you're interested in supporting us on Patreon, you can check it out. We also have a sticker tier, a postcard tier, and then the Studio Friends, which is just a dollar a month where you get behind the scenes stuff on what we're working on each week. We use water-based non-toxic ink because we print in a basement studio. We don't really want to deal with anything that needs a lot of ventilation. So because the ink has water in it, the paper that we use will sometimes warp a little bit. This particular print though, we noticed that the paper curled a lot more than we were used to. Normally we would lay our first color down, wait about a half an hour for it to dry, and then get going on our second color. In this case, we actually decided to wait overnight just to see if the paper would relax a little bit before we printed our second color. So our second color is Earth Blue, our mid-tone, and you can see that the paper did actually relax a little bit. It was laying a lot flatter underneath our screen today versus the day before. Before we start printing every color, we always pull test prints anyway, so just in case the screen doesn't burn correctly, the ink's not moving through the way that we want it to, or anything else weird is going on with registration or anything like that, we just push the screen through this stack of paper that we kind of have lying around in drawers in our studio. The layers build up over time, and sometimes they create some pretty cool collages almost of a lot of layers of our prints. A lot of times Dennis and I will panic because we'll see something that didn't burn correctly and doesn't look quite right, but nine times out of 10, the layers that are coming up next cover up whatever issue we have and it ends up working out just fine. After pulling a handful of test prints, we're finally ready to start printing our normal edition on glitter paper with the teal ink. The teal ink that we're using here is a custom mix I tried getting away with using the color we already had on the shelf, but I didn't quite like how green it looked. We wanted something a little bit more on the blue side. So uh, we mixed this color from scratch using a bunch of different Speedball acrylic ink colors. I didn't record any of the ink mixing process this time, but if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, including how we use a Pantone color book to help match what we have on our digital illustration on screen, let me know down in the comments and that's something I can make in a future video. I honestly can't remember how long we let the second layer dry. I don't remember having any issues between the second and third color, probably because at that point the paper's already been introduced to the water and the ink, and if it's gonna do anything weird, it's already done doing it. We made it to my favorite part of screen printing, which is laying down that last color. We're using Speedball Poster Black straight out of the jar, no mixing required. It is just the most rewarding moment when you've worked on something for so, so long. Printing that last color for the first time is just the absolute best feeling. So there it is, here's the final print. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you made it this far, hope you'll give it a like. You can also subscribe to our channel. I've got tons of ideas for future screen printing videos. If you have ideas for things about screen printing that you wanna see demonstrated, please leave them down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.